G'day, Michael here. I'm printing a grill for a 120mm fan. Basically my PCs are running a little bit hot and I want to put a couple of muffin fans in there. Um, but I want to have a grill so I don't have flies and bugs and whatever else going through there. And I've come across, almost by accident, a method for producing these sorts of screens. Very, very simply, just using slicer, and any slicing software will probably do it. It's basically just a rectilinear fill of a, you know, of the shape with no top and bottom fill. So um, I'll just go to the slicing program, which happens to be Slicer, and I'll show you what that's all about. Okay, so this is the, the design in Slicer. And let me just go to the preview. And here's the 3D preview. You can see there's a mesh there. If I go down through the stacks, there's only a few layers. That's the first layer, second, third, and so on. I also find what works rather well is if you do a round or a bevel or something uh, towards the top, what happens is the tracks obviously don't end up perfectly on top of one another, so it ends up giving sort of a, a, a nice bonding between the outside perimeter lines. So by, by making the edges taper, the various layers, the various tracks, um, kind of jo join as a a straddling piece between other tracks so it makes it quite sturdy and if you look at the rectilinear fill let's see how close I can get here without it losing focus every other layer is across the previous layer maybe I'll have a look at the actual printer and I'll show you that what I mean what I mean is you can see this this layer is going this way and the consec well the previous layer was going from uh, bottom left to top right and this is a particularly efficient way of printing and you get a suitable bonding um, between layers uh, if you want to you can certainly beef up the track sizes in the advanced setting and slice and I'm sure every other slicing program will have uh, much the same trick let's just go have a look at that okay I find slicer is pretty useless unless you set it in expert mode so the things that I'm showing you that I always show on my videos if I show slicer is in the sort of expert mode, not in the, you know, simple mode. As you can see there, solid layers, top zero, bottom zero. Um, now, I have to, sorry about the shakes here, I'm trying to hold steady. Okay, so I've, I clicked on infill, and I've got a 20% infill with a rectilinear pattern. Now it's a little bit random, depending on the, the tip size you've got, and how wide the tracks are, 20% may produce quite a few different sizes. Now I'll just go to the advanced, because in the advanced, you can actually find all the widths of each type of uh, track. And you can see the extrusion width is set to auto, and you can read the, the help on the thing. In any case, you know, spend your time reading this and, and find your way through what it is you need to achieve. Um, but anyhow, these advanced settings do let you do lots of tricks. I guess that's all I wanted to show. It's just in concept that you can do this. There's also, you've got the hexagonal uh, fill, as you, you use the same way. Um, now let's go back to the printer. Okay, so it's still printing. But by doing it this, this way, the prints are very simple and fast. So you find it's minutes involved in producing a grill like this. Um, from dead cold, dead cold platen and everything to this point is 15 minutes and it's already done about 65% of the print so if you tried to do this in a design you'd end up spending a lot of time trying to nut out how the design would work but simply using the rectilinear fill and defining the percentage to produce your whole size is actually a good little cheats way out of producing these grills. I hope that's of interest to you. Um, feel free to like, share, subscribe, ask a question, leave a comment. Bye for now.